To use the Onyx Remote app, it's actually really easy and it allows you on iOS devices to connect to your Onyx console or PC and have remote control from afar. So this is great for a variety of things such as remote focusing your lights and uh, running cues when you're not sitting down at your desk. So how do we do it? Well, first thing we're gonna do is make sure that we get our remote on the iOS device connected to the same network as the computer or console running Onyx, okay? Get them connected to the same network, very important. Next, we're gonna go ahead to settings. We're gonna press Onyx here, go to the menu. Then here under network, we're gonna go to remote, okay? Now the first thing that we can see here is this is the page where we configure our remote but this actually isn't the first thing we need to configure. So if you haven't already, we'll go to settings here, go to interfaces, and here we choose the connection that we want the remote to be enabled on. In this case, I'm connected to my network via the ethernet. So now I just have to turn on Onyx remote right here. Perfect. Then as we toggle it on and off, we can see the little remote icon here once you press apply. So now let's go ahead to the remote page. Make sure again on this network interface that we had connected, the remote interface, we've got it turned on. And then we've got a passcode. And this is what we're gonna enter into the iOS device in order to get control. So let's hop over to the device. First thing we're gonna do is make sure we're on that same network again, of course. Go ahead and uh, click right here for Onyx. We get the Onyx remote, awesome. It says checking for devices. Once it does find the device, we can go ahead and uh, click right here to the file that you've got open. Perfect. And now you got to enter that passcode. So that passcode came up in the software and uh, you needed to write it down or remember it or have it in front of you. Awesome. Once you enter that, it uh, checks it, of course, and uh, lets you in. Now, once you're in, there's a variety of things you can do. Here you can access all of your fixtures, presets, parameters, pan tilt, a color picker, and playback pages. So let me show you through some things here. I'm just gonna put this here and I put Onyx right here on our 2D plan and kind of zoom in a little bit so we can see it on the side here. Awesome. So now I can simply go, say I go to fixtures and I select these Artiste Da Vinci's. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna press this little highlight light bulb right here. And now when I hit this and touch my fixtures, I can see them highlight. I can select all here at the bottom or deselect all. Let's leave those highlighted for a minute. Then I'll go back here. Let's go to presets. Now I can go ahead to an intensity preset. Go ahead and set them at full. So at this point, I could go ahead and uh, turn off highlight here on the fixtures tab. Whoop. Awesome. Now they're at full. We can go to parameters here, for example, we'll see intensities at full. Across the bottom here, we can access the different parameter groups. Or we can go here and do the uh, pan and tilt via the pan tilt menu. So this is really helpful. For example, the drag mode here allows us to uh, just click and drag. And this is a sensitivity control. So you can get real sensitive with this or not. You can click and drag here set your focus. There's also direct, which is where you just click this and go joystick and a sensor is kind of cool. It allows you to use the uh, sensor in your iOS device. Again, I'm not sure how useful it is, but it is cool. And so, so we can set up our focuses here. We can do a variety of tasks. We can also go to the playback pages and uh, go to page one, press any cue list that we've got on the playback buttons. And uh, that's pretty much it. So it's pretty cool that you can just go in here, you know, get into your show file and be able within your iOS device to focus things, etc. And when you are done, one last thing I do want to show you, I'll log back into the show here, is you can go in here. So we've been working with presets here. Okay, you know, we've got them at full already. Take them down to 50. We've got, you know, them pointed at something. So now we can press record. We can record a new preset if we would like. Press done. Now, say I go here to uh, parameters, boom, good to go. 
So it's it's really cool how you're able to go ahead and you know use this for remote focusing, make presets, you know playback cues that are on the buttons, and uh, just be able to do a variety of things when you're not sitting at your console. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more from Lauren Stage Lighting, go check out my full playlist on Onyx, how to begin, and all of that. I'm going to link to that right here on the screen. And also check out the page on learnstagelighting.com that features Onyx, how to begin, and is going to share with you all the resources I have to help you. Have a great day.